Spreading the Words is a series on the histories of Irish words from literature and everyday life. Written by Sharon Boothnot and Maura Neve Wainig and produced in association with the book A History of Ireland in 100 Words and the Electronic Dictionary of the Irish Language. In this piece, our reader is Ruth Hegarty. Smugger le Roin. Jellyfish. Ask any group of Irish speakers or learners to nominate their favourite word and it won't be long until someone mentions smugger le Roin, the term for a jellyfish. This term seems to have captured people's attention in a way that few other words and phrases have done and there can be little doubt that much of its appeal lies in the comical and uncannily accurate image it evokes. A creature which out of water resembles a shapeless mass of colourless goo is known by a name which has been translated into English as seal snot. In the long history of the Irish language, the term smugger le roin is a relative newcomer. The earliest record of it seems to be in a list of Aran words published in 1901. Uses of smuggerle around the time mostly refer to spittle, and in that collection of words from Aaron, smugger le roin is said to mean literally spit of the seal. While the collection of terms from Aaron identifies smugger le roin as a name for a jellyfish, there may well have been some variation in how the term was used in the early years of the 20th century. In a list of words for reptiles, amphibians and fish published in 1916, smugger le roin is given as a name for a pilchard, while a source from 1926 claims that a lupidil lap is a kind of marine creature like a smugger le roin. Lupidil lap or lup de lap is still known today as a name for the sunfish, a huge, flat, odd looking fish which is a frequent visitor to Irish shores and which actually consumes vast quantities of jellyfish. So perhaps smugger le roin in this instance refers to something other than a jellyfish or perhaps the person who was responsible for this description had never seen a sunfish. And how was a jellyfish known in Irish in earlier times? Although we have medieval and early modern words that probably refer to squid, porpoises, whales and oysters and maybe even a reference to the tusk of a narwhal, at present, we can't point to any certain mention of a medieval Irish jellyfish. <laughs>